One of South Australia's peak medical unions has launched a scathing attack on the state government's transforming health plan. Nurses say the plan delivers more questions than answers. The state government says its overhaul of the health system is all about better services, but the nurses who deliver them say they're being left in the dark. We have been pressing for months on the release of an implementation plan. An update about the contentious reforms that include shutting the Repat Hospital and moving services between other hospitals was given to staff on Friday. But the nurses' union says detail was scarce. In a letter to the health minister, it says it's worried about the lack of meaningful information and details of timeframes, saying the update was inadequate and did little to ease ongoing fears about employees' futures. I think it's extremely concerning and very frustrating for those involved. Uh, it, it is uh, very much an anxiety producing situation where you're not sure of where you're going to be working into the future. Representatives meeting with the Minister today who offered this assurance. They're not going to lose their job. We're not going to be out sacking nurses. That is simply something that's not going to happen. But still no firm date of when the repat will close and when some other services will change. We're going to provide accurate and timely information uh, as soon as we can. I can't provide information that in some cases we just don't have. I fear that we are facing a, an unmitigated disaster in, the, in health. Well, Rory McLaren joins us now live. And Rory, where to next for the state's nurses? Well, Brenton, the Nursing Federation and Senior SA Health Executives, well, they're due to meet on a couple of occasions over the next week or so. Now, it's following those meetings that the Federation hopes to be able to develop a more detailed picture of how and when the transforming health changes will start to roll out in earnest. Now, while the Health Minister, Jack Snelling, today dismissed suggestions of deep cuts to nursing staff numbers, he also said that nurses would likely to be repositioned or repurposed and moved to other roles than what they're currently fulfilling under the changes. So, Brenton and Kate, we'll have to wait and see exactly what that means.